Hello everyone, I'm the Kentucky Cave Creeper and today I'm in Casey County, Kentucky and I'm gonna be talking to Eddie Carmen, and he is the owner of this cave right here. And there's a story that uh, about uh, some bank robbers who robbed uh, the Middleburg Bank and supposedly came in here and buried the money. And as far as we know, it's never been found, or it could have been buried somewhere else around in this area. And he, I'm just going to see if I can't find out a little bit about what he knows about this story. Uh, nice to meet you today, Eddie. Nice to meet you, too. And uh, can you tell me anything about the treasure that, that's supposed to be in this area from the uh, bank well, robbers? I mean, my mother told me about the bank and the robbery, but that's been years ago. I don't remember a lot about it much about it, even what she told me, uh, but it was supposed to be buried in this vicinity. <laughs> and uh, I couldn't imagine burning it side the road, but yeah, maybe hey, but they didn't hurt, they didn't hurt. And the cave was handy, so I ain't never found nothing no <laughs> wish to work. Yeah, yeah, I don't blame you there. Shoot out like, or shoot out like. Now you were telling me something about a, a chain you found once over in you your- You found a chain down in the driveway, yeah. But, it's just a chain, <laughs> unfortunately. A really old chain? Mm, it's pretty old, yeah. They yeah, we'll broke it. Yeah, I don't know what else. There might be something else down there, but I ain't went dig. You got to dig. <laughs> yeah, and I don't know anybody that's ever brought a metal detector in this cave and just looked for it. I, I know I understand. Well, I have, yeah. I oh, you... yeah. I've been all over it with a metal detector. You have? Yeah, a long time. Wow. Yeah, I have more than once. Did, did you ever find anything in here? Uh, did you ever find anything in here? Uh, uh, no, nothing. No, I ain't never found nothing good with that. <laughs> wow, well, that's, that, okay. that's cool. I'm glad you're out doing that, you know, because that, that's, that's well, exciting. I ain't done it a long time, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's been forever, though. Well, I mean, my, uh, I wonder my metal detector still works. <laughs> it's beat all the hell. Well, you know, when I, was a, when I was young, I used to drive down the road because I lived not too awful far from here out on Moccasin Road. Right. And um, I used to drive down the road and meet this guy in a car and I would wave at him. And they said that that guy had been in Alcatraz. He was a really old man and he knew the bird man. And if I wasn't mistaken, they said that he robbed some banks. And I don't know if he was involved in this robbery here well, or not, well, if he's I, the one. I don't but. think I've ever heard that one, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, mom told me they all bunch about it. She, uh, she kind of even get giddy about it. Cause, well, I guess it's just cause it was here, you know, it's her place, so. Yeah. <laughs> so that was cool. I like that, yeah, she, when she got. Now, if you, if you, if the bank robbers did rob that and stashed it in here, where do you think they would have put it? <laughs> well, I've climbed up in that crack and everything looking and uh, say they could hit it up on one of them ledges and all that down. Damn it, there'll be everybody and their brother in here now. <laughs> Yeah, we well we won't disclose the exact location to protect your You're property. Not catch them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I understand that. You know that people down here they don't ask quit. They probably sure. shoot you first, then ask questions, won't they? That's right. why I that's why I made sure well, I got I permission know, first. Oh well, I probably I probably my holler. <laughs> I probably holler first. <laughs> you know, that's good. I'll give you a fair warning. I appreciate that. <laughs> How long have you owned this cave? You and your well, family. I mean, I've just owned it since my mom died. Yeah. Oh, yeah? That's been, that was since 16. Uh, and my brother, I got two, you know, my other two brothers, they're in on it. The third deal you know, with 30. Yeah. And you know, Eddie, uh, it's good that I can come down here and talk to people like you because if nobody tells the stories like this, they'll, they'll just die and they'll never be remembered. You know, we might make a difference. And yours all might, this story might all of a sudden go on one of the treasure maps in Kentucky someday, you know, and we've maybe recorded it. Like, maybe I'll find it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I would. I, I, I'll come in here yeah. go dig. I actually go digging one time. Yeah, I, I would hope that you, you could find something to do with it walking around in here. I know you guys uh, get spring water out of here. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, people used to come all over to get water out of here. You used to have, have steps that went right down the ditch line. Oh, from right up there, from the steps. The, yeah, from the road. You know, yeah, from the road down. To step out of the road, start going down the steps. Yeah, we got a road. That's my vivid memory of it when I was a kid. The yeah. first time I ever came to 
or saying there somewhere in the early on when Dad drove. This is one of the only caves I know that has a road really close, so it's easy yeah, access, at least yeah, to get to. People think it disappeared, I guess, at night. I used to <laughs> say, well, I'd probably freak them out because I just disappeared. <laughs> yeah. they drove by and say, where'd he go? <laughs> <laughs> Well, now, Eddie, you told me about salamanders also that yeah, were they salamanders, yeah. found in here. What about that? Orange and black. And they're the only endangered species. That's what I heard. Now, I don't know. Yeah, when the kids did a thing at school, he come and got one to the school, show and tell or something. Really? But That's something else. He said that was on the endangered species list, and uh, then it's got crickets and salamanders, or crickets and spiders, or whatever you call them. They look like Granddaddy Longways, Yeah, I, I know what you're talking about about the cave crickets. I've been in caves and they're just all well, over your like head, kids, yeah. and they're scary looking almost yeah, because they, they look like uh, spiders. Kind band of band together and band. <laughs> yeah, they're they're band. They're those brothers band together there, yeah, don't they? Like little spots of them, like, <laughs> like it's made, you know, yeah. a bunch of them in the, the salamanders. I I'd like to find that black one again. I don't want to catch. This time, well, I think it's interesting that your kids can come in here. You know, you, you got a place on your property, and they can go to school like that and learn about that and get inspired about creatures and caves. Yeah, it's cool it's important. Sometimes and come in here and say, "Yeah, it's cool. Fit five. Oh yeah, right now I can feel it. I mean, I stepped out from that heat, and it's it's just. I mean, it's cold in here. It feels good in here. Yeah, and we're just setting today. We're just. We're just doing a pre-interview We're today. You know, we're just sitting in the entrance of this cave, but I'm going to come back in a couple of days and go in here. With, and he's, Eddie said I could bring my metal detector. Yeah, it's got E.T. right there if you look at it right. It like, <laughs> Which one do you think is E.T.? Well, there's like two eyeballs and then the mouth sit right there. On the, yeah, you probably can't see it on the camera. Yeah, I don't know. Take a picture. It, it, it'd be so dark. I'll try to take a picture of it. You in a might minute. be able to walk it and look at it. I don't know whether you'd ever get it around that way or not. Maybe. You want to show it to me? If you want to walk, we can walk over that way. Yeah, you want me to so, do it? I can show you where it's at. Yeah, if you want to, just take a... It's right. Just go. You can just walk over there and get it. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we didn't bring... I didn't know I was going to get to do an interview with uh, you today, so I did not oh. bring my flashlight even with me because I was just going to try to get your permission and it turned out we ended up walking over here. All right, well, there he is. Well, that don't look kind of like It looks like a face, though. <laughs> kind of creepy. <laughs> well, you'll see it. Yeah, I appreciate that, Eddie. We'll, we'll take a look at the face. And, you know, I mean, I, I know there's a lot of pretty formations, but it's interesting that you... You you see that and you like that well, kind of stuff. That's like fun. It looks kind of like them... Uh, the characters on that uh, that animation uh, five or seven or nine. <laughs> yeah, you seen it? Then yeah, my kids like it, and I like it. It's called nine. It's got well, it's animated. It's old. What's his name? You got them weird shows. Uh, ah, shoot, I can't yep. think of no name. My uh, kids Tim used Burton. my kids used to watch a lot of shows when they were younger you know and we i would watch a lot of cartoons with them i hadn't seen any for a little while though but you know since they got older but um, uh, now what's that story eddie about your uh oh, them finding some coins yeah in here? my friends found that i went back and found some oh uh, 60 some dime which might have been silver silver that's the 60 or something or the 60 some of them are dime or silver but i ain't sure about 60, they found out two dimes and a nickel. <laughs> so, so they probably fell out of someone's pocket, those, yeah, those bigger ones. Yeah, they used to be back there, so. Yeah. Now, these bank robbers that come in here, I, I'd imagine they might have, I kind of always heard stories, they might have had some big bags of silver, you know, oh, like yeah. silver dollars well, or something, know, but uh, it could have been money, too, you know. Yeah, probably, so. that's okay. So if, if if we find it when we come back in here if we find it um we'll split. Yeah, well if you yeah, I, I appreciate that, you know. <laughs> you brought me luck. Yeah. <laughs> you going if you split it with me, we'll both be in good shape yeah. then, won't we? Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> well, we we'd have to tell the gut we probably have to tell the government about that treasure, wouldn't we? You think we could keep, just keep it quiet and not <laughs> let them know about it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What they don't know, don't hurt. What they don't know, that's right. What they don't know won't hurt them, will it? <laughs> what they say about me, so. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> they don't well, let them find out because they hurt you. <laughs> an, another thing. Another thing, Eddie, um, I don't know if you know it or not, but like when I, I um, had, uh, when I was a kid, I'd been in here a few times cause, because my mom had uh, stopped us here way back, I mean, years ago, and we just kind of walked in a little bit and looked around, and I used to kind of find some little polished rocks in here that looked almost mm -hmm. like marbles polished, yeah, real beautiful. I and dug three holes in, and that ticked me the hell off. Yeah, they better go out there and catch them. Yeah. They dug, uh, dug up you know, three holes and for something. Took the rocks, I guess. And I heard a, a story about an arrowhead being found in here once, too, but I don't know if that, you know. Uh, well, I'd say they, yeah, probably. Long how many's ago. been found in here, but, I, you know, yeah, good. Before everybody got to them, yeah, I mean. And you know, Eddie, uh, I've been into the John Swift silver mines kind of all my life. You know, I've I, like read about it a lot and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't know if you're familiar with that, but I'm sure you've, uh, you know, it, it's buried in lost silver all over Kentucky. You know, that they said this pirate miner Indian trader in the 1700s supposedly mined. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I mean, it's always good to check places out because you never know. You I mean, never know, yeah. And. This place has changed a lot since that happened. Because, you know, like I say, it used to have steps. Yeah. And this, you know, I'm sure there's all kinds of the nice rocks, you know, the hand hand hewn or whatever you call them, rocks down in here. So if they're hand hewn, they were either put here by early white people or else Indians, maybe. Because sometimes Indians would make steps. Right. You yeah, know, well, Native there, Americans. I mean, it was, I mean, a mason or a you know, rock person. Rock, whatever they call them. You, you know, Eddie, there, I've been in a cave before where we found petroglyphs on the wall that nobody knew was there. I didn't really, oh, I'd, I'd always yeah. seen it, yeah, but I snapped cool. my picture uh -huh. one day and boom, it just like exploded in my yeah, face. I thought, my God, there, yeah. there's a lot a picture better, on this wall. Yeah. yeah. That's why I can see the faces better when you snap a flash picture yeah. on the wall there. Yeah. That's when they show up the best. Yeah, I can see them now, but I yeah, it it was amazing, you know, what popped out at us, and 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 I showed it to an archaeologist, my pictures, and to the leading rock guy in the state of Kentucky at the mm -hmm. time who was studying petroglyphs, and he couldn't really make heads or tails of it, but the archaeologist thought it was three thousand year old Indians. Yeah, and the picture changed that did it two days or something like that. Changes the brain or something. And also, Eddie, there's rumor that white people might have came here before Columbus, or, or you, not necessarily white people, but people from across the ocean. Oh, yeah. But, you know, prior to the arrival of Columbus, when the Indians, of course, were already here. Well, but they didn't prove he wasn't first, yeah. yeah. And, <laughs> and that they might have been in there and doing that, you know. Where the hell am I? Who, who knows? These, <laughs> these guys could have done that. I mean, people are starting to... Hey, man, no archaeologists, I think, are kind of starting to accept that now more. They used to. It was just, you know, you would you would be blacklisted if you talked about a lot of that but now they're accepting it more i think you know they got to kind of wake they, up to they, the they times probably didn't want to reveal nothing there, so tell yeah about, about, keep an open mind is what i say about it all time yeah you know and you're better off keeping an open mind and oh, just closing yeah, it to someone's yeah, one theory or two or three you know um another thing about this cave, how far do you think this cave goes back? I mean, it's really muddy, and I know if we had small passages, and there's some so small that I doubt I could even get through it. I, I've got to get in better shape now that I'm starting to do this again in the spring and stuff. I'm going to have to work out and get well, back to where I can do all this. It's changed since from when I was a kid, and when we went back, crawling back in it with you know a bunch of batteries and uh, candles and all that for backup. If, unless it's changed, you ain't getting back there unless you're a little uh, swim like me, even. Yeah, I can. So I can. tight for us when we were kids, yeah. And we were just orange when we got back out, yeah. So <laughs> that that ready. might tell us that if the bank robbers came in here and they had their loot, then they had to get rid of it fast, and they're not, and they were a little bit too big. They're not going to be going back too far. It's going to be somewhere closer in here. Right. And I don't think a lot of people knows about this story. They, yeah, they, they wouldn't want to go take a hell of the time just because they were probably trying to hide it quickly. Yeah, be gone. There's nothing that, you know, I don't think a whole lot of people really knows about this this story here about, you know, the 
the the buried treasure. There, there's a few that yeah, I've never. Probably ain't. Yeah, and I forget about it most, for the most yeah. part because I've look, actually looked for it. <laughs> did, so I guess I just say, ah, it ain't here. Somebody done found it. Did you say once maybe it was in the paper years ago that uh, you saw? Maybe about the bank robber, yeah. Or not, some, not something about where they buried it or nothing, but just. I don't know, maybe the bank robbers. So they're actually, I mean, we're dealing with a situation here where there really was bank robbers, and we're dealing with a situation where I used to wave at a guy on the highway that I heard was involved in this or oh, yeah. or possibly, or some of these bank robberies that occurred from Alcatraz. They, they had spent time in there and knew the, the famous bird man of Alcatraz. Hmm. So, you know, and he's he's passed away now, but... Right. So, you know, but I would have loved to went and interviewed him if he would have let me have an interview, awesome, but uh, man, bro, he's bro. not here to interview, so. He would have been a character. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I would have, I would have enjoyed bank. that, you know. So I want to rob a bank <laughs> No, I had no, been, we, we, I know we don't want to, we don't want to be incarcerated, do we? We need, to be out, <laughs> we need to be out here walking around where we can be free, don't we? Yeah, I'd rather. Even though I am, bro. Yeah, it's okay to be humorous and have fun. You know, oh, yeah, we, we're not, yeah, we got you know, we're having fun, yeah. I couldn't do that. I would be worth a nickel. If we don't tell this story, nobody will know about it. And I, I certainly don't want anybody coming down here and vandalizing your cave or doing no, anything, and I won't do anything to it. We're not cheating nobody. Yeah, I mean, you got what you get your water out of here, and just for you to even let me come well, in no, here is a, we, we got, well, we an honor to, to be yeah, here. We don't get it there anymore. Of course, we, I could if I needed to, but. But I'm going to come back in a few days, Eddie, okay. and, and either, you know, if you're here, I'll get with you. Okay. But I'm going to come back with maybe one or two people or maybe by myself. I don't know. Okay. And I'm going to, I want to go in there with some lights. Yeah, and, I want to go and, too. Yeah, I want to go yeah. check out them rooms. And, so I want to see how much it's changed. Since I'd like to bring my metal detector, if you don't mind, and we can just scan the ground. And I'm going to dig up the ground, of course, you you know, just see if we detect any metal. If, if you say we can look, you know, we find something or you want to get down and do it, fine. it's up to you because you're the owner of the property, not me. Right. And I, I, you know, we're totally here to respect you. Right. And, and I'm honored you're going to even let me come in here, you know. Well, because a lot of people I come to in Kentucky, they basically shut the door in my face and tell me to go home. You know, they wouldn't even get this far with me. So. Right. And to actually do an interview with me well, is a real treat. Piss me off, and then you won't like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know how people are down here. Well, believe like me, you, you, know, yeah, you don't want to. Really? You don't want to make them too mad because you know it's not a good thing, is it? No. <laughs> We'd rather not. We'd stay on good terms. Yeah, terms. that's right. Terms. There you go. Absolutely. Be nice and you be nice. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And, and one other thing, Andy, I might ask you before uh, is that there's a bat. You say you seen well, bats there in there? Used to be, but no, I don't watch that. Into it. Hopefully, it didn't meet a terrible demand. I, I don't think I saw a lot of bats in here, but uh, you know, it's good if there is a few. I know sometimes there's a disease out there that they when they go in caves they'll wash and everything before they come in. You know, mm -hmm. so they don't kill any animals if there's a lot. But so uh, they have to. They have to be careful about that sometimes, you know. I mean, when they're going, you know, and, and especially these television shows and things that are doing things in caves, that they're real particular about if you hurt animals and people see that or anything, they're going to go all, you know, they're going to just come at you. They're oh, going to yeah, come at you if you, you they're kill they're anything they're in this cave. And and I'm I'm totally for the life of all the creatures in here. I don't hurt anything. I'm not here to tear up any stalactites. I'm just here to get the story to document this so it's not forgotten right. and maybe to come in here and just take a little look and just see if we can't get some readings and just see if we couldn't find something, but just for the thrill of right. searching it and well, putting it on how they say here. That, uh, from what they described, them going back around that curve or, you know, to that first little room, see, that's changed a lot, but this is... Well, from since I was a kid, this right here, when you first come in, has changed very little. I mean, it has some. Well, when I out, when I come back here in a couple of days, that there's a little bit of garbage people has left around in here. I'll try to pick up everything we see. I'll try to pick it up and put it in the bag, and I'll throw it in my car and go throw it away for you. Somebody put them steps and everything on there. I didn't do it. Oh, right there to yeah, walk on. That. See, they did, somebody yeah. else did that. I don't know who did it. <laughs> I guess they didn't want to get their feet wet and muddy, but that's a... Oh, yeah, you're going to get real muddy back here. I'm, yeah. 
you know, you'll, you'll, you'll get covered with mud. <coughs> Absolutely you covered. You spend much time in here. You are. You're gonna be orange. Yeah, we're we're gonna be okay sitting here today, but if we go get back in there. We're gonna probably get dirty, ain't we? Mm -hmm. Muddy, and cold. <laughs> yeah, Wet. muddy and cold. In this cave, you know, could come out somewhere else and join. Yeah, well, I've heard it goes all the way through, but I don't know whether I believe it or not. Now, if I was a bank robber, I'd come in here and I'd, I would take the loot and I'd go to the other side. I'd make them think I come in here and got yeah, lost well, forever. I would never come out. I'd go out the other he end. Came out. He out now. Yeah. And I'd disappear down to Mexico or Canada or yeah. somewhere with all the loot and yeah. they wouldn't see me again. I'd be laying on the beach somewhere. Yeah. You know, maybe over in another yeah. foreign country yeah. somewhere. Got gotcha. <laughs> and uh, I guess the last thing I'll ask you, and then I, I know the interview's approaching 20 minutes and 53 seconds right now, so I oh, won't yeah, keep you well, much longer. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I, I think uh, the last question I'm going to ask you is about the big tree that's growing in here, the tree oh, root yeah. that's coming. At, there's a huge tree up above, and the root grows through the ground, comes in here, and you got this one absolutely beautiful root system in cool. coming in the ground <laughs> getting the water out of here and that's how this tree is staying alive and that's so unusual you know, i just don't looks like a dead tree i'm not sure i've ever seen that in any cave i've ever been in not not this nice of a root i'm not ever i've never yeah, seen awesome it so. cave, i think yeah. I, love I hope you don't tear i mean it's up to you this is your cave but i hope you leave that thing there well i've thought about tearing it down just because i like the waterfall because it you know but you can oh, as gosh. you can hear it running now so i guess yeah. i'll probably leave it. well i'm too lazy anyway oh it's it's so unusual <laughs> though eddie saved it. Oh, you very you might want to leave that <laughs> but yeah that's warm since i've been alive because it didn't used to be there yeah i'd seen it you know in my later life i know and it's it Pretty magnificent. And when I come back, I'll try to get some pictures of it because I know we're not dressed for. I just came, you know, to get your permission today. We're not dressed. Yeah, yeah, we don't have lights. Yeah, cause my and, hands are getting cold. Okay, well, Eddie, thank you very much for the interview, oh, and uh, I, I sure appreciate it. And and, and I'll uh, gotta shake your hand. Yeah, yeah. And and I'll uh, put this on my YouTube channel and get it up there, and then I'll get the second part where we actually go in here in a few days. Done. Cool. Okay. Oh, so, yeah, it'd be cool. Thank you, Eddie. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you.